Involutional atropion is defined by outward rotation of lead margin away from the globe. It commonly occurs in elderly people and involves lower eyelid margin. If it's left untreated, it may lead to ocular surface irritation and eye discomfort. The main pathogenesis is a horizontal eyelid laxity. Some literatures also include lower lip retractor weakness and lamella dissociation as its pathogenesis. The underlying condition and maximum area involved affect the choice of surgery. This is the algorithm for involutional ectropion proposed by Collins et al. The pathogenesis can be divided into horizontal laxity, lower lip contraction weakness, and lamella dissociation. The choice of surgery should also consider the maximum area that include. In the case of horizontal laxity with general area of laxity and excess skin, we need to consider horizontal shortening and blepharoplasty. The Kuhn-Simanowski procedure basically is a combination of horizontal shortening and blepharoplasty. The principle of this procedure is to excise the excess skin and shorten the lid under the flap. The fat may be excised at the same time if required. This was a case of a 75 years old male with complaints of watery eyes and droopy tooth lower eyelid since one year before. There was a marked outward rotation of lower eyelid margin at both eyes. The patient also had a generalized lower eyelid laxity. However, the other ocular examination was within normal limit. According to the algorithm, the case of a generalized eye laxity and marked skin excess is a good candidate for horizontal shortening and blepharoplasty or the kuhn simanowski procedure. First, we made a subciliary skin incision around 2-3 to mm below eyelid margin. We then perform subcutaneous injection of anesthesia solution using lidocaine adrenaline mixture. We continued with skin incision using number 15 bleed along the marked skin. Then, we controlled the bleeding using bipolar cautery and adrenaline soakers. We deepened the skin incision, separating the anterior lamella and preserve the orbital septum using Stephen scissors. We continued with measuring the length of horizontal shortening needed. Then, made a full thickness pentagonal incision using Stephen scissors. Then, stitch the lid margin at the tarsus to make a good apposition of the lid margin using multifilament 6.0 absorbable sutures. Afterwards, we fixated the lateral cantus to periosteum using multifilament 5.0 absorbable sutures. Then, evaluated the excess skin. The surgeon should always be aware before removing the excess skin. It is important to ask your patient to open their mouth and perform up gaze, and consider the adequate size of skin that will be removed. Thus, the risk of lip retraction after surgery can be avoided. Next, we perform eyelid margin fixation with monofilament 6.0 non absorbable suture. Then continue with closing the subsidiary incision with the same thread.
we performed the procedure at both eyelids. And as we can see, the lower eyelid was successfully corrected with improved lower eyelid laxity and no ocular complaints from the patient during follow-up.